it's quite possible that the first few Illustrator documents you open up are not actually yours. After all, you may be new to Illustrator. You might have to edit somebody else's. So I want to make a few suggestions about what you do when you first open up a file that you're not familiar with. The first of which is get a good, clear, holistic view of all the artwork so you know what you're dealing with. It might throw up some potential problems. If someone tells you there are six pages of artwork and there are only four, you know there's a problem that you need to sort out. Now, at the moment, we can see that there are probably three and a half what looks like pages of artwork. Now, this is all shown in the very central area of Illustrator called the image window. And at the upper left hand side, the document tab tells you the file name and then it tells us after little at symbol a zoom level. So we are viewing this file on my screen at 44.18%. It would be good to get a good clear view of everything in this document. So first of all, go up to the view menu. And as the name view implies, there are a multitude of ways in which you can view or preview artwork inside of your document. If I go down the list, you'll be looking for a command called fit all in window. And what does that all mean? Well, it means the pages of artwork. Now for Illustrator, what we see here are and act as pages, but they're actually called artboards. If you ever hear the term mentioned or seen on screen for artboards, that really means pages. And in our case, we've got one portrait and three landscape pages. If you wish to scrutinize these even further, then I would suggest going down to the very lower left hand side of Illustrator to what are called artboard navigation options. These comprise of a pop out menu with a number in that tells us which artboard is active at the moment. And then there are some arrows that are either side, which will allow you to go to, for example, the first artboard by clicking on the button on the far left hand side. When I do this, it will make that particular artboard fit as large as it possibly can inside of your image window and we get to see a little bit more detail in there. If you wish to then view the next artboard, well then go just to the right hand side of that menu and click on the next button. It takes me to artboard two and three and four. And conversely, if you wish to jump right back to the beginning, you can go to the first artboard or you can go to the far right hand side and choose the last artboard. Now, if you have a lot of artboards in your document, you can click on the pop out menu in here and it will list them by number and also curiously enough, name as well in there. So you can hover over any one of those in the list and left click on there and it'll take you to that particular artboard. And at least by doing this, you'll see a holistic overview of the artwork, inspect any issues that might be. If there's anything missing, you get a good clear view of it. And then you can also inspect things at an artboard by artboard basis, remembering that really artboards are just pages.